Hello everyone, this is AD Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you the new Ravana robot uh, on the BR account. You can get the Ravana from the Special Delivery or Ongabao Lottery, as you, na you name it. And uh, its ability called Transcendence. It basically it has the it's like the phase shift uh, module. When you activate the ability, you gain in the uh, speed and also you Im you immune to any incoming damage and we are going to stay out of the battlefield we will play first free for all and also beacon rush starting uh, with the ravana on roam map i'm using igniters i want to see how we, i want to see how it will perform and yeah i can deal a lot of damage to the lich the enemy too i already <laughs> reduced uh, more than half of his hp and I'm activating the ability to try to make him use his leech mode and to run away, to bail out. And I also have the phase shift ready. Yeah, just like that. I'm activating the phase shift and now I can kill him very easily. And we took him out. We have the first kill. I'm reloading the igniters. And I'm try to, to steal the invader maybe or the falcon. I can hit them both with the splash damage. Also the igniter has splash damage and yeah. I kill the invader and I can kill also the phantom. No, this time it's not my kill. This falcon is a uh, baby lost connection. So I will try to focus on the other falcon and yeah, we got it. The heiress already used this shield. Let's try to steal the heiress. Come on. No, I don't have line of sight and this, is, this was too late. And I'm activating the ability again to try to make them... <laughs> Uh, to lose some of their shots, but no, <laughs> the Aujun already is done. And at least I will try to kill the Augwang before they will kill me, because I don't have a last stand anymore. And yeah, we got the Augwang, Rampage, and maybe the Ares also? No, almost. Almost we got the Ares. By the way, don't forget to like the video and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you not miss anything from the good business. We are running the good business, as you know. Yeah, this time the tear <laughs> got stole, uh, got killed by the <laughs> the Mercury. So I will try to give the kill to the tear because he is the third guy. So I will give him the kill, just like that, and then I will respond. I can respond the Ravana. Uh, that's how you called it, right? <laughs> the Ravana. Yeah, I can see. There is an Aujun on the left. Enemy free using Aujun with Thunder. And Aedes. I will try. No, he doesn't notice. He doesn't notice we are here. So we can kill him. Without taking any damage. And then. I will focus on the Aujun. Just like that. Yeah. This is my kill. I'm Aujun. Sorry to disappoint you, my friend. I will try to, to chase him. To get him. The speed of the Ravana itself without the ability, uh, I must say, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like the speed. It's very slow. I also mentioned it on, on my previous live stream. If you want, I will I will link it to you in the top right corner of the screen, my previous live stream. Yeah, as I said, the speed itself, not when you are using the ability, is very slow. I don't like the speed. I will try to get the headers. I don't think I will, uh, will make it. No, <laughs> the leech is already on its uh, inside his shield. <laughs> he killed him. I don't have the face shift ready, but uh, it doesn't doesn't matter. We killed the leech because he did not have last stand. This leech, he forgot to use his ability, so he almost done. So he should have uh, done it much earlier. So I will try to kill him with the igniter. No, again I messed it up entirely. But never mind, we are still the first. Uh, I, think, I think, yeah, this is another leech. Enemy 2 is using another leech. So, yeah, his, his ability is already over. So, I will he will try to, <laughs> to regenerate his ability. But I, I, will, I will not make him, I will not give him uh, to. The chance to run away but he, I think he will kill me 
I will try to save some time with the phase shift and I have another activation of the ability. We don't need it. We just killed the Lich and uh, I got killed by enemy 6, the Augueng. He is the third one, the third place, so... Uh, it's okay because he... he it all, all matters that the uh, enemy 2 will be far away from me because he is the second. He is the second guy. So yeah, enemy 5. I will try to get enemy 5. Yeah, we got it. And enemy 3 using an Arthur, we can uh, deal with that. We can deal with that, but we need to be careful because he can kill us with <laughs> his uh, stuff. So we need to take uh, advantage of this uh, stuff. <laughs> discover but never mind enemy 5 just stole our kill oh my god <laughs> man enemy 5 i will get uh, my revenge he just stole my kill <laughs> but first i need to hide behind this thing behind discover and also to stay away from his uh, blast wave blast wave ability I will try to get there, to get to, to the right side, dealing some damage to this uh, Arthur, but no, I did again the mistake, because <laughs> I did not notice that uh, <laughs> the kid uh, was there, so he stole my kill, but again, we are still the first, we, I don't, I still, I only need to make sure that the enemy too will not get uh, the kills, because he's the second guy, so yeah, as you see, uh, this is something I also mentioned on my previous live stream. When uh, your legs uh, damage, the Ravana legs are damaged, and you are using the ability, you are not gaining the speed you need to get. But it, it's only uh, not this time. I'm not talking about this time. When I, I had the leg damage on my live stream, previous live stream, so when I activated the ability, I did not get the additional speed. So I don't think it should be like that. And also sometimes, sometimes uh, the phase shift is not working. When you activate in the phase shift, it's not working. Yeah, I tested it. I tested it out, and I'm not sure if this is a graphic glitch or the phase shift itself that not working. So yeah, we we will see. Maybe we will like, encounter this thing again. By the time I'm dealing with the Arthur, and we just killed the Arthur. Yeah, I had to tell you that because sometimes there, there's some some bugs about this robot. Also, the speed I said, in my opinion, the speed is is too slow. I think he needs more speed. It's very slow. <laughs> Even and not only that, with the legs now that my legs are damaged, maybe you will able to see it when I will activate the ability. Yeah, look at that speed. Look at that speed. That's what I told you. That's what I told you. Look at that speed. He's not very fast. I don't think it should be like that. Doesn't matter if the, his legs are damaged or not. You need to get the additional speed when you activate in the, this ability. At least you will get the speed from the ability because the robot itself <laughs> is not very fast. It's too so slow. So at least you will get the, uh, the speed from the ability. This is my opinion about the, this thing. And yeah, I'm using this cover for my advantage again to do the corner shooting thing. And we just killed the kill. And I think this was the last one. So we will see the tail of the tapes in a second. Just showing you again. It looks uh, very oh, cool in my opinion, this uh, effect. Uh, this is a burning effect when you activate in the ability. Yeah, let's see the tail of the tapes. We did 3.7 million damage with 13 kills and 4.4 thousand uh, 4 uh, uh, honor points. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, we had a decent run with the Rav Ravana. And also we faced uh, Leeches and uh, Aujuns, the Mita stuff, the good business. And now we will uh, test it out uh, on Beacon Rush and then I will tell you furthermore my opinions about the Ravana. And uh, yeah, furthermore, as I said. And I'm starting with the Phantom. Why I <laughs> decided to start with the Phantom? Because maybe you are, you're wondering why. Uh, maybe the Ravana it can be used as a beacon runner. No, it cannot use uh, as a beacon runner. As I said, the speed is too is so slow. So I have to use 
the Phantom is a beacon runner. I already tested out on my previous live stream, so it's not good for business to use the Ravana as a beacon runner. So if you have a Ravana, don't try to use it as a beacon runner because you will be disappointed. So we try to use something else for the beacon runner. As a beacon runner, I mean. I will try to give you my uh, uh, advices and uh, how to play it much uh, smarter in the Ravana to use it uh, and maxim at maximum performance to do the best as you, uh, you can with the Ravana. For those of you that scored the Ravana, and I know most of you, uh, some of you have scored the Ravana from the special delivery, not me, but I know some of you <laughs> got it from the event. Yeah, I'm spawning with the Ravana. Uh, luckily, the beacon is still our, ours. And yeah, there are three enemies out there. I, I can I, I was able to kill the Eros because again with the splash damage, I was targeting the Phantom, but he was uh, in the middle of the the line of fire, the, the, my line of sight. So I was able to kill the Eros. And now the Inquisitor also is done, and we got the beacon. Nice one. And let's see what we need to face in front of us. There is a, a leech. I'm using the lockdown ammo. This time on the BR, uh, uh, the BR, the beacon rush, I decided to use lockdown ammo because I found it very much effective to use lockdown ammo when you're using playing team play. And yeah, if you are wondering why I did not. Uh, I'm not using shotgun because I don't think it will be uh, much effective. To use shotgun on the Ravana, so I think the igniter maybe is one of the best you can run on the Ravana. Maybe the cryo, I don't know, but I think there are, uh, for what I've tested, I think the igniter performing uh, the the best on the Ravana. And yeah, we kill the leech. He's spawning again with another leech. What do expect? <laughs> I will try to do something against him. Let's see if you can win this. We are. Uh, we don't uh, have uh, enough uh, uh, power, enough HP, and my last 10 is already gone. We, in I need only to make uh, to trigger this last 10. And also, I have the help of the Loki. He will stay on the beacon. And he will try to to steal the attention, <laughs> the spotlight. <laughs> and yeah, he did a great job. <laughs> he tried. He, he was trying to focus on the 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 what's it called? The Loki. And because of that, I was able to kill the leech. Yeah, he did a mistake. He should have uh, focused on me instead of focusing at the Loki. So that was my luck this time. And yeah, he's spawning again with an Aoju. Let's see if we can make it again. He's reloading. He's reloading. Yeah, I activated his last stand. I will try to avoid some of his flame. And... Come on. Yes, we, we made it. We won it again. Oh my god. We just killed uh, three of his bots, three of his bots, two leeches and one Aujun with this thing. Yeah, we... Oh my god, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I did not think that I, that I will make it. That was uh, from nothing. <laughs> from nothing. We did the, the maximum as we can on this situation. The maximum. And yeah, the Ravana saved this purpose, as I said. He's not the best robot, he's not like the Lich, and again, he's using another Lich. This is the third, third Lich he's using this player. And I bring, I brought the Ar Arcanide Invader to make sure that he will be mine. And we just took out the Lich. This is the same player. I, me, myself, just killed him four times, four times. And he's using now the Titan. I think he has another one. I don't know, maybe. So now we bring in the Titan. So now I'm using the Arcanide Invader, as I said. And I think they are trying to liberate uh, one of our beacons. First time trying to focus at the, the annoying Griffin with the Hydra because he's so annoying. So I had to deal with the, the Griffin first. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying to deal some damage to the Aoming. I know they will kill me both. Uh, yeah, apparently this... Uh, no, he's still alive. 
Uh, I thought he got killed, but he's uh, still alive. And I'm bringing the Nightingale, just to show you a little bit uh, gameplay from this uh, Nightingale. I also will uh, will do a video with that, with the Nightingale. I will show you uh, in the near future. So stay tuned for that, for the video with the Nightingale. So yeah. And I also already recorded the uh, gameplays from with the Nightingales and yeah, I can tell you I also had a special uh, moment on one of the games and yeah, stay tuned for that, I will show you this <laughs> and this could be funny, so yeah, we killed the Arthur we killed the Arthur luckily, the Aujun with the Ember with the and the Glacier did the perfect job I will try to help him <laughs> no, never mind, you're already done <laughs> oh my god I was trying to help him and to support him with the healing, but he's already done, so never mind. Yeah. Maybe you notice that also this beam, the suppression beam of the Nightingale, is, this is also making a significant damage. Not a bad damage, also. I'm using the lockdown ammo to, to stop them all, to lock down all, uh, all the enemies with the Scourges and the Spark. And yeah, the Ao Gwen is, is done. I will uh, heal the kid. Yeah, this is uh, something I want to show you. This is also can be good uh, when you have Titans in your team. So you can use uh, the healing. The healing rate is very high. I think this is much better now uh, than the Wayland with the, uh, his healing rate. The Nightingale. Yeah, this is something that uh, you need to look over. If uh, you have a nightingale, so yeah, I will, I will not underestimate this robot. They definitely can support B. Uh, I think the best supporter you, you can run, this robot, yeah. So, I will not underestimate this thing. It can be very useful, this robot. And yeah, I'm healing the kid. I'm making sure this kid will stay alive. And yeah, this is the, exactly what I did. But... Uh, this match is far away from over because we don't have enough beacons, so I will do the best as I can to save this matchup. We don't have in, in, even one beacon, so I need to capture uh, as fast as I can uh, the beacons. So I'm sacrificing the Nightingale and I'm spawning with the Aljun to make sure to, to liberate the rest of the beacons, so, because we are going to lose it if, you, if I will not do so. So I'm doing this, I'm uh, liberating the beacons and we have the much more players on our, our team so I can uh, deal with the beacons and my teammates can uh, deal with the enemies so I will uh, li liberate the beacon in front of me and let's hope they will not spawn again I believe they are already backed out, most of them I, I know for sure one of them is already mecked out because <laughs> we are the one that took care of business and <laughs> we are the one that make them out uh, make made him to make out very early earlier so yeah this person is using I cannot see this is a what is that phantom so yeah he's all, all by himself so he will be dead in a second, so yeah, this game, uh, this was a intense match, it was an intense match and we won it, we won it, we won it, that was very close to be a loss, but we, uh, as you have seen, I've saved the matchup with the beacons, and yeah, I did 3.8 million damage and we faced a duel squad from Zero Clan, S Clan, and you can see, they are running the good business. Yeah, Phantom, Aujun, Fenrir, Hades, Deathwing Aujun again. And the second player was using, was running uh, Phantom, Leech, Aujun. Yeah, the good business, as I said. And yeah, this was an intense match and we made it. We was able to finish, uh, to win this match. So yeah, now I will tell you my opinions about the Ravana. Yeah, definitely the Ravana can be can be useful robot, but as I said, uh, I think this robot needs some adjustments. <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking. He needs he needs some adjustments. 
with the speed and also some bugs, uh, bug fixes with the ability and the phase shift and mostly with the speed, it needs more speed in my opinion and maybe, yeah that's it, more speed, <laughs> very simple, more speed but as it is right now you can be effective with that if you are playing careful and using uh, concealment covers for your advantage just like I did and I think the, the best combination you can run on this, I think, one of the best you can run on the, the Ravana is the Igniter. Uh, Cryo, maybe I will try another weapons if you... Uh, tell me in the comment section below what uh, beads you want me to run, maybe Corona, Storm, I will try. I already tested, tested, have tested the shotgun and they are not performing very, very well. They are not performing very well on the Ravana. And yeah, as, as I said, the Igniter is one of the best you can run on the Ravana. Also, one, uh, also the design, I think the design of the robot is very suitable for, with this uh, Igniter. So this is another reason why I decided to try the igniter, especially the igniter. So yeah, now it's your turn to tell me your opinions about the Ravana. So tell me in the comment section below, uh, what, are, what are you thinking about the Ravana? Is it <laughs> overpowered? I don't think so. Is it underpowered? Maybe. <laughs> Is it performing well? Maybe also. So I wanna see your opinions now in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel also activate the bell icon so you will not miss anything from the channel and as always have a good day slash night